to the Real Estate Scripts Podcast, the show that helps you know what to say when you're talking to buyers and sellers so that you can close more deals and earn more money. I'm Darren Tunstall, a real estate professional, coach, and number one best-selling author. Let's get into this. All right, so we're working with suppliers, and the script that we're going over is called calling vendors and establishing referral relationships. As a reminder, the purpose of scripts and dialogues is to come, learn, practice, and be prepared to fail forward. This is where we make mistakes and help each other out, but we're mostly interested in seeing how we can get better. First, we read through the script word for word, and then we go back and put it into our own natural tone, style, and phrasing. You won't know what to say until you go through the script. So with that said, many people will say, that's not how I sound. And I totally get it. That's not how you sound. But that is the reason why we practice every day so that the script becomes you and in your own voice. So read it word for word first, then go back and put it into your own natural tone, style, and phrasing. And I think it'll work out. So calling vendors and establishing referral relationships. To set the stage, you are calling vendors like plumbers, roofers, flooring, windows, painters, landscapers, vineyard installers, contractors, AC, people like that. And you're going to- Because everyone's looking for a vineyard installer. Absolutely. You know, it's just something that uh, I don't think a lot of people think about, but if you have a lot of land, you can either take care of that land by yourself or you can sort of have it self-maintained with something like a vineyard. But anyways, the point is that you want to introduce yourself to create a win-win referral relationship. Mm Mm-hmm. The only requirement is to have the willingness to call vendors, whether they're cold or warm. And the intention is to introduce yourself and develop a referral relationship. So Emily, why don't you go first? I'll answer for you. Then we'll flip the script and then you and Kevin can go. Okay. All right. So. Hi, good morning. My name is Emily. I'm with Keller Williams. I'm a real estate agent in the area. How are you today? Doing well. How are you? Well, thank you. I just want to introduce myself. I mostly focus on helping people buy, sell, or invest in real estate in the San Diego area. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I'll come across clients who need a plumber. Would it be okay with you if I add your business to my preferred vendor list? Absolutely. I mean, well, before I say that is, do do I, what do I have to do? (laughs) Well, you don't have to do anything. Um, We hand this out to everyone we know. Um, new clients as well as existing clients, um, friends, family. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Um, just out of curiosity, would you mind mentioning me if people ask you for a real estate agent recommendation? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, because I have a lot of clients who like when we do home inspections or repairs or something like that, they, they don't know a plumber. So I'd love to recommend you. I know we've worked together a little bit in the past. But, you know, I think I, I value your your workmanship and your your trustworthiness. So I'd love to add you and recommend you to people I know. And that way, if you recommend me, it's kind of like a win-win situation, right? I think it would be. Absolutely. It sounds like it would be to me. Okay. Well, I'd like to be number one on your list. So to make this a win-win... Oh God, I went over. Oh, believe me, I'm a plumber, so you don't want to be number two on my list. That was uncalled for. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay, well, spectacular. I'm looking forward to staying in touch with you. (laughs) All right, sounds good. Thank you. I appreciate it. (laughs) I couldn't remember. I'll also drop by and hand out some of my business cards and flyers. In the meantime, do you know anyone who needs to buy or sell right now? You know, at the moment, I do not, but I am at anywhere between, say, five to eight clients a day. So I do see people all the time. And, you know, occasionally in the past, I have uh, been known to hire, been I've been hired to help people fix a plumbing issue because they were thinking about selling. So it's nice uh-huh. to know that I can at least tell them that, you know, I know somebody. Well, yeah, I'd love the opportunity to meet any of your clients that are are looking for a real estate agent. So I appreciate you thinking about that. Um, Well, I'm going to be in touch. I'm going to send you some stuff to your email at darrensplumbing at Gmail. That's still the best email to reach you at? Yeah. 
Okay, awesome. I'll send you that some info on me so you can share with your clients how to get a hold of me. You know, I just want to say thank you so much for your time and I look forward to working with you. Same here. I appreciate it. All right. Have a great day. You too. All right. Let's do it one more time. So you're calling a vendor, uh, whether you haven't used this person before. Oh, okay. I haven't so, ever used them. Okay. Yeah, you're just calling plumbers like today. You're calling vineyard. You're calling roofers. You're calling you're okay. calling people in general to get your name on their list. I'm calling a vineyard installer right now. Okay. Well, we could do that. And, but you don't know me, right? Okay. And the whole point is just to introduce yourself and, and make a connection and to develop a relationship and, okay. sort of, and sort of put it in your own words too. Put it in my own words. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Darren's Vineyard Installers. How can I help? Hi, Darren. Are you the owner of Darren's Vineyard Installer? Yeah, I'm Darren. Oh, perfect. <laughs> How can I help you? Who is this? Hey, I'm a real estate agent in the area. My name's Emily. I work with Keller Williams. I'm just reaching out to introduce myself. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you. Appreciate it. So to kind of let you know why I'm calling, I mostly focus on helping people buy or sell, invest in land. Many times I come across clients who might need your services. Oh, okay. Well, how can I help? Well, would it be okay with you if I added your business to my preferred vendor list? Yeah, that would definitely be okay with me. What do I need to do? Um, just refer me if you know anybody looking for a real estate agent. Okay. I mean, is there a cost to the list or? Absolutely not. It's just like, a, you know, a friendly referral system. We refer each other out. We help each other grow our business. We hand out information on each other to just kind of work as a kind of like a referral partnership, if that works for you. It, it does work for me. I'm just curious, what, why? how did you end up finding me? Oh, I'm just kind of doing some research because I had a client who um, in the past who was looking on how they can improve on their land and the eventuality of selling it. So one of the options, they, they actually went with an orchard, but one of their things was maybe a vineyard. And like I said, I work with people who deal with, you know, large amounts of land, usually over an acre of land, and they want to develop it and it adds value to the land before they sell it. Does that make sense? It, it does. And if you don't mind me giving you a little bit of advice also, you know, depending on the type of orchard that you're going to be planting, you, you got to think about the water right. and, you know, with, with grapes, you can put everything on a drip system and you save water significantly versus like an orchard. Typically they're going to be flooded and mm -hmm. you, 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 you use a ton of water. And if you're growing something like, for example, uh almonds for example i mean they're they're huge in the news these days and it's true it does take about a gallon to two gallons of water per nut so that's a lot of water if you if you think about how many nuts are on a tree so uh -huh. when it comes down to grapes you know you just water them for an hour to two hours a day and you're putting it on a drip system and it's very well timed and you save a ton of water you're actually saving a whole lot more water that way. So when you're having a discussion with people, if, if they're thinking about stuff like that, then, then they should know the different expenses. And that's something that I can help out with too, because we've managed orchards, we've managed vineyards. We've. Oh, wow. You, know, you do orchards too? Yeah. Well, we don't do orchards, but I'll definitely maintain them like the pruning and things like that, but I don't do the install. I'll do the install for, for vines, for grapes. Okay. Um, but we'll do the, the pruning, the cleanup and all that type of stuff around specific types of orchards. Cause there's big machines now that handle a lot of the, uh, the, the harvesting of these things and, and whatnot. So um, of the, of the big trees, you know, but vineyards, it's really a hands-on so I'm more pruning, harvesting, you know, installing for vineyards. And there's some things that we're willing to do on orchards too. But, uh, you know, we can cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. Well, just out of curiosity, um, do any of your clients ask for real estate agent recommendations? Um, you know, honestly, nobody's ever asked me anything about who, who I would recommend. I mean, I guess they're just more interested in hiring me to 
to do the work around the, the the place. But I mean, it's always nice to know a good, ha to have a good contact and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you sound like a, you sound like a decent person to work with. Well, I'm sure that in your line of work, you have long lasting relationships with people because you're managing, you know, their, their properties, their vineyards. And that's kind of why I reached out to you because my business is built on relationships and I'm sure yours is as well, where you kind of get to know somebody and you nurture them and you take care of them and you take care of, you know, their land where I take care of, you know, helping them buy, sell or invest that land when they're ready to do so. So if you wouldn't mind, if anybody asks you, if you know a real estate agent, I would love to be top of your list for your recommendations. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the best way is to send me your contact card through a text. You're, you know, this is a good number to text to. And then I'll just save that. And, you know, I'll be honest with you. I'm not very good at staying in touch with people, though. You well, might have fortunately, to I am. Oh, OK. Well, then that works. <laughs> <laughs> right. If you don't mind me, you know, reaching out to you every, you know, month or two just to say hi and see how you're doing. Yeah, no, absolutely. OK. Yeah. Um, would you mind, I'm going to text you my, my card, but if I could get an email for you and I can send you a little bio about me that way, if anybody ever asks, you can say, yeah, I know it. Emily, she's great. Here's her information. Here's what she does. Absolutely. You can email me at Darren at Casa de Oro Vineyards.com. Okay. Spectacular. I'm looking forward to staying in touch with you. I'll also drop by and hand out some of my business cards if you're around later today. Well, I'm around. I'm always on the go. So right. today I'll be at, you know, this particular vineyard. You're more than welcome to drop by, you know, check it out. We can meet. You can also see, see some of the work. I, I did the full install and we um, we maintain it as well. I've been maintaining this one for about five years now. So going back to your point is like, yeah, we we've once people hire us, they typically keep us. Right, right. Well, I'm sure they do. You probably offer um, a great value to them. Um, okay, well, I'll be in touch. I'm going to stop by later today, drop off some business cards, just hand them out if you feel that, you know, it could be of use to somebody. Yeah, let's do it. Right. Sounds like awesome. fun. Thank you so much. Thanks for chatting. Thank you, Emily. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye. You took me back to my 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 days of growing up around the orchards and the fields and oh me too did you yeah, yeah. In San Bernardino and redlands avocados oranges yeah figs, lemons yeah I I, I grew up apples in, yeah 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 I grew up in Merced area where uh it, it's which is Central Valley which uh, there was a plum orchard, almond orchards, cornfield over here, walnut orchard over there, and then cotton. It was just, you know, and I'm thinking all through my mind, like, you, and you probably saw it too, where all these orchards get flooded full of water. Mm -hmm. I mean, just a, I mean, I don't want to say a waste, but it was, it requires a ton of water. We Almonds, we, yeah, are ridiculous. We enjoy the, we enjoy the fruits of, of that, but at the same time, it's like, but literally like grapes, they're all laser focused drip system, you know, and it saves e even my own hillside with my grapes. That was one of the big things. Like we kept watering the hillside, watering the hillside, wasting a ton of water and, and, and it would never turn green until we planted the grapes. Now everything grows nicely and they're all sprouting now. It's kind of cool. So, but we saved water by doing uh -huh. that. And erosion you know controlled erosion and it looks good as a vineyard and then we get the wine <laughs> there you go the there fruits go. of your labor all right so that's the script i hope that you found it very useful to download the script just go ahead and head over to realestatescriptspodcast.com there'll be a link there for you to download the script This podcast is for the purpose of education only, and it does not make any guarantees. We suggest you seek out the help of your broker, coach, or mentor for specific situations. Brought to you by Darren Tunstall at Repros, California DRE number 0185345.